up guys welcome to a brand new video i'm not doing any movie reviews or movie news today no today i'm actually doing a blu-ray haul um so today it was funny i went on my lunch break at work and i just wanted to go pick up the blu-ray for blade runner steelbook i went to go pick up the steelbook for blade runner 2049 and i was like hey you know i'll walk around a little bit i usually never do this because i've been trying to tone down if you can't tell i have a lot of stuff and this is only one section i have i have movies up the ass but i i started walking around and i was like Oh God, there's a lot of deals and I ended up buying a ton of movies. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what I got because some of these films I'm actually excited for. Some of them I'm actually, I have already reviewed and one of them I'm actually planning on reviewing because I've been really looking forward to it. So, but without further ado, I am going to leave the Blade Runner 2049 Steelbook at the end because I do want to go over how cool this thing looks. But first off, let's get to what everything else I got. So starting at number one is going to be Castle in the Sky. This is a Studio Ghibli film and I really like Castle in the Sky. Um, I haven't seen it in a long time. Time, but of course it's an anime film I'm, I'm i'm gonna like this it was a really good deal at best buy um they had a lot of miyazaki films actually on sale and studio ghibli so you might see one more in this list so make sure to look out for that um this is the film fate of the furious now completely honest this is my favorite fast and furious film I know it's probably one of the worst films in the series, but I have so much fun with this film. I think it is a total blast, and I'm surprised I have not picked it up yet. But I finally did, because it was like only $12.99 at Best Buy, so why not? Next one I'm going to get is a film that I'm surprised I never even bought before, is E.T. I have probably not seen this film since I was probably like 8 years old. Um, E.T. is a classic. I mean, it's a Steven Spielberg film. you got to get E.T. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to looking this up again. I, I, I'm surprising to see where it is. The last time I saw E.T. was when I watched the prequels, when you see him in the little background at the Senate meetings. But, you know, E.T., you got to have it in your collection. Now, coming up is another Miyazaki film. That's Nisika of the Valley of the Wind. Now, I've never seen this film, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. This is a film that I've been wanting to see for a long time. And now knowing that every Studio Ghibli film is actually on Blu-ray, it's kind of my goal to collect all the Studio Ghibli films. So, I had to cross this off the list. Especially when you find, especially when you find a Studio Ghibli film on sale, it's like, just get it. Because... Every I have never been disappointed by a Studio Ghibli film, so like I said, I would really go check out Best Buy, and hopefully your local Best Buys have both of those films on sale. Because, like I said, if you find a Studio Ghibli film on sale, it's you gotta get it because it'll go back up really fast. Now here comes another film that was actually on my top ten best films and my top. It was kind of my under overlooked underrated films that I kind of wanted to do this year, and that is Brawl and Cell Block ninety nine. I love this film. Um, I know a lot of people think it's really slow. It does slow. It is a very slow film, and I know I will totally understand if someone tells me they don't like this film. Um, the director of this, a lot of people are hailing to be the next Tarantino. I'm not so on board with that, but I think the way he style his style, you can feel has a Tarantino feel to it. But Brawl and Cell Block 99, it's a Brawl and Cell Block 99. It is a very slow paced film, but this is one of Vince Vaughn's best performances, and I do recommend at least checking it out and trying it. Um, this is a film that last week I actually went to Best Buy to pick up. Me at Steelbook, and I saw it, and I was like, ah, 20 bucks too much. Walked in today, it was like $12.99. I was like, okay, maybe it was mismarked, but they gave me it for $12.99. I was like, this is the film I wanted to watch again, and totally recommend it. Now, this next film is a film that I have been wanting to see for a very long time. I've watched director, I've watched the director talk about this. I've seen the actors talk about it, and the, you know, I, I did see, um, I don't remember what the film was exactly called, uh, Belko Experiment, that's what it called. This kind of looks like a different version of it, but it's called Mayhem. I have not watched it. I really know nothing about it. Just that I'm a big fan of Stephen Young. Of course, from The Walking Dead, he's one of my favorite characters, Glenn. And Mayhem is a film that I've been wanting to watch for a very long time. I know it's been at some indie festivals. I know it's been on demand. I've just always wanted to pick it up. I saw it. It was $12.99. Again, another film that last week I saw it was like 20 bucks. And I'm like, eh, I can hold off. But I am going to actually review this film. Um, either next week, I'm probably guessing next week because there's not a lot of films coming out next week throughout that week. But uh, Mayhem, really. I, I'm looking forward to looking, I'm really looking forward to watching this and showing you guys the difference because I really don't know what's it about. I just saw the actor, I saw them all talking about it. I'm like, hey, I want to see that. Now we come to the most special part and I already opened the, I've already opened the Steelbook. So sorry guys you don't get an unboxing today but i was too excited to see what the back of it was and that is blade runner 2049 now this is obviously my third favorite film of last year um i'm not the biggest fan of blade runner as people will know i'm not the biggest fan of the ridley scott film i enjoy it i understand why people like it it's just a film that yes you can see up here i will probably barely ever watch again 
Blade Runner 2049 is everything that I think the first one should have been and even more. Blade Runner 2049 is an underrated, overlooked film that is amazing top to bottom. I think the reason I like this film more than the original, even though this one is longer, is because Denis Villeneuve, the director of this, knows how to make slow-paced films. And I feel like Ridley Scott is not perfected at that. I think Denis is perfected at making a slow-paced film. And I think the Steelbook... I know there's two different versions. There's a 4K version and this. I prefer this version. Um... I don't know why I just really did and let me let me show you guys more about this so of course you guys can see the steel book right there we can kind of flip it to behind you see Harrison Ford back there the side of it uh, let's see if that focuses say so Blade Runner 2049 I really like the steel book overall um, and then I'll show you guys the inside as well of course it's just kind of you see the discs you see the car back there we'll take it back I think it's just Ryan Gosling in the background pretty much oh nope it's 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 just dirt it's just dirt. Overall, this is a pretty decent steelbook. Again, really like this film. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching it again. It's a film that I constantly think about. And the messages, the, the imagery in here is just God amazing. It's the most beautiful film of last year. And I, I really hope you guys can check this out. I know a lot of you guys didn't. I do recommend seeing the first Blade Runner before watching this. It makes the film a lot simpler to follow. And then do some research after too. Because I know some people who have done that and still don't like it. But like I said guys, pretty damn good haul today. Um, Like I said, I, I really have not bought in a lot of movies lately. So this was a big surprise. Retail therapy guys. Trust me, it works. But guys, until next time, make sure to check out more movie reviews coming out soon. Den of Thieves review will be out tomorrow morning. So make sure to look out for that. Um, lots of other things coming up. I'm going to try some different segments on this channel. Some not movie related. Um, some movie related. And some just overall just kind of more vloggy kind of stuff. I kind of want to do some more story times. And I also want to do some more just... I'm, I'm planning on doing this thing called Motivation. Where um, I want to help you guys. I want to motivate you guys to do some other things. Maybe you want to start a YouTube channel. Maybe you want to do this. And I, I just have some things where there will be quick things. And I just I want to get that out to you guys. And I, I love you guys. I think you guys are all the best. Thank you guys for all the support, of course. And I, I'm just going to try it out and see where it goes. Of course, tons of other things coming up soon, guys. But until next time, stay classy and have a great rest of your day.